Mountains here. And We're looking out over the country of Syria. This is all Israel here. That water there is Israel. There's a minaret from a mosque right over there. And all of that over there. That's all the country of Syria. And they actually came to where the reservoir is. Can you see where that reservoir is? That, that's how much Israel came up or went east. That's further east. They stopped here. And that ended actually the Six Day War. Israel, as you can see, is right behind us up on those hills. Which I really Father Rob Clements is giving his conversion and, uh, story, a uh, vocation story on the bus. My mother went on the camping trip because I wasn't supposed to be due for a couple more months. You know what? Uh, she's never done camping since. <laughs> <laughs> never done camping since. But both my parents actually. Um, are not religious people. Um, they, they really were, were not raised strictly or um, with much religion at all. Um, and that pretty much, apart from maybe just like some holiday observances and what you might pick up about, say, Christmas and Easter, and from some extended family members, that's about... I knew I was a Catholic, and I knew, you know, there were a lot of uh, other faiths out there, and I had conver good conversations with friends that I worked with, like guards who were members of other faiths. Sometimes people understood, sometimes they didn't. But there was definitely this sort of lack, there was something missing in my faith life, you know, this sort of a sincerity, this energy that I was looking for, something to have, and that really did. All right, everybody's getting off the bus now. We just arrived back from the Golan Heights, and lunch with the Druze, back to the Sea of Galilee, and this is actually the Church of the Multiplication of Loaves and Fish called Tabga. It's about 10, 15 degrees warmer down here than it was up in the Golan Heights. And there's Joe making his movie for Phoenix Diocese. jumps the number to 15,000. That's what we're talking about. And I would not even be afraid to say 20,000 people who ate from those uh, two fish and five loaves of bread. The area is called Hectatidon, which translates into the seven springs. I mentioned that today on the bus. And this is where Jesus came and he on a rock, which is inside the church. I'll let you go in a minute and you can see that. That's where he took those uh, loaves of bread and the two fish and he blessed and prayed, blessed and multiplied and fed the thousands. Hello everyone. So they said it, you weren't uh, in the movies enough. Right. So we, we wanted to make sure that you got your smiley face in there so everybody could see you. Yes. Having a good time? Yes, a very good time. All right. So we're on our way to Rosh Pina, where we're going to have dinner at Aber Shulamit. And everybody's all dressed up and ready to go. And uh, we're just pulling into Rosh Pina now. This is this uh, city right in here. And our restaurant is right up in the hillside there. Well, I can promise that this evening 
or this meal will be like unforgettable for you tonight. I mean, uh, Steve, I know it. I know him like for the last three years, and he's bringing just a wonderful groups here. I mean, the best groups. <laughs> and well, about the menu, um, all the appetizers will be like served to you on the table. You don't have to choose anything. About the main courses, the special about the place that we smoke here, fish and meat. So the smoked meals very recommended, like the salmon, like the the, the, la the, the smoked lamb grapes with the soy and honey sauce, that's great meals, and it worth to try. If you took a smoked meal and you don't like the taste, I'll be more than happy to change it for, you for any other meal. Don't worry, like, if I like it, I don't like I will change it. Tonight we're having our dinner at a bear shoe meat, which is always a big hit. It is a great location looking out over the Hula Valley and the Mount Hermon is off at the distance. And everybody loves this place because they get a choice of smoked goose breast or smoked salmon or steak or all kinds of different pastas. And then the desserts are excellent chocolate cake. Goose is awesome. <laughs> and everybody loves this dinner and it's a, one of the highlights of the pilgrimage for people when they come here. So I uh, just wanted to do a little video clip here to tell you where we're at and let you see what's going on. Thank you.